uh, logic gate. Okay. What is the logic gate? Why we need a logic gate? Let's see this example. Let's say there's a bank. Okay, there's a bank. And then some, uh, recently this bank, okay, is always robbed by a robber. And they found that uh, the robber is usually fat and short. Okay, the robber comes the same group of robbers, okay, and then the robber that uh, came every time is short and is fat. So the bank is visited by these robbers uh, quite frequent actually. Yeah? The managers of the bank decided to employ a security guard. Okay, a security guard. Every time when the robber came, okay, he wear mask. So means we cannot recognize, okay, we cannot recognize his face. So we don't know who is the robber, okay. But we know that the robber is short and fat, okay. So then this bank employed a security guard. And then so the manager need to give an instructions to the security guards, okay, uh, to open the door for the customer, okay, who to open and who not to open. So the manager give an instructions, instructions to the security guard. He say, you open the door for those customer which is thin and tall because because the robber is fat and short okay so he said you opened you opens the door okay when the customer is thin and tall okay uh, so this is instructions okay a logic process is a process to make judgment you decide okay you make a decision you judge and make a decisions okay so this is instructions given to the security guard. Then the security guard need to analyze and make judgment and decisions. Okay. So that is how that's how the okay this table show how this uh, security guard make decisions. Okay. So let's say first customer come. Okay. The first customer comes. He is thin. When he's thin, we use one. Okay. We use one or zero okay to to analyze the data okay so for uh for a logic uh for logic process okay logic process the data okay the data can only be two types okay yes or no black or white okay just two types on the air okay so we use one or and zero okay to denote the data uh, to represent the data okay if it's thin is one if it's uh not thin then it's zero if it's tall, it's one. If it's short, then it's zero. Okay, so so the data in a logic analysis must be like that. Okay, so the first person come, he is thin. So we use one to denote that he's thin, and he's also tall. He's also tall. Now the instructions given to the security guard is: you open the door if the customer came is uh, thin and tall. Okay, so what do you think? Shall the security guards open the door? The, the customer come is thin and is tall. And the instructions given is if the customer is thin and tall, then you should open the door. Yes. Okay. So the security guard open the door. Let's say open the door means one. Okay. So then the second customer come. The second customer is thin, but it's not tall. It's fat. So for the tall, we use zero uh, to denote that he's not tall, okay? So what do you all think? Should this security guard open the door? Instructions given is thin and tall. Thin and tall. So the answer is no, okay? If thin but not tall, uh, okay? So then it's not thin and tall, then we shouldn't open the door, okay? So the security guard does not open the door. So we use a zero to to denote that he does not open the door. Okay. Another customer come. He is not thin. This is fat, but he's tall. Fat and tall. Should the security guard open the door for him? Yes or no? No. Okay. No. No. Okay. And the last customer came. Okay. He's fat and he's short. 
So of course, okay, uh, we cannot open the door for him. So you see, if the instruction given is like this, thin and tall, open the door, okay, and then so this is the data that we have, okay. Uh, the first person come thin and tall, okay. The second person come thin but uh, short. The third person come fat but tall, okay. And the last one is uh, uh, fat and short, okay. And then, uh, then the security guards make a judgment, okay. A logic process to make a judgments and make a decisions to open or not open the door. So this is the logic process. It's a logic process. And then uh, the manager found that if he give these instructions to the security guards, then finally it end up that just very, uh, this small amount, just very few customers manage to go into the bank, okay? Because uh, just a few of them are thin and tall. So just very few customers manage to go in. So then he changed his mind. He changed his mind. He said, okay, now this times he give the instructions to the, security guard okay he say mm, these times if the customer is thin or tall then you open the door okay open the door right okay so again the first person come is thin and tall okay so of course the security guards will open the door okay the second person come is thin but short so these times the instructions given is thin or tall so should the security guard open the door okay yes he should open the door okay and uh the third person come he's uh fat okay but he's tall okay so should the security guard open the door yes right and the last one is uh the person come is uh, fat and he's short Okay, then uh, he shouldn't open the door, right? Okay, so it's zero. So by given these instructions, then some, uh, a lot of customer managed to go into the bank, okay? And then uh, we successfully block the robber, okay? Block the robber from going into the bank. Okay, so this is a logic process. Then we have a problems, okay? Because, um, there's a lot of customer go in and come out, okay? So there are too many of them. And then uh, they are not quite happy. They're not quite happy with a security guard standing here, okay? So the bank manager decide to replace this security guard with a logic gate system, okay? Logic gate system. So how he do that? Okay, so what he do is he put a sensor here. He put a sensor at this place here, okay? So, a sensor here. And this sensor is uh, five feet from the ground. Five feet. Okay, for him, uh, he defined that lower than five feet is considered short and uh, higher than five feet is considered tall. So, that is, that is his definition for tall and short. And then so he put a scale here. Okay, electric scale here, okay, which is not seen, okay, it's a carpet covered by the carpet, so you can't see the scale here. And this one also, the sensor, you can't really uh, realize that there's a sensor here, okay. So this one, this one, um, so he also define, okay, he says that uh, if uh, it's, it's less than 50 kg, less than 50 kg is considered uh, thin, okay, more than 50 kg, or let's put 60 kg, okay. So we put 60 kg, higher than 60 kg is considered fat and uh, lower than 60 kg is considered uh, thin, okay? And then he won this system to make decisions, okay? To make decisions. So uh, when the person come is uh, higher than the sensor, okay? So one person come, okay, higher than the sensor. So this sensor, so this sensor, it will uh, it will give a signal, okay? It will give a signal, okay? You give a signal one to the system, to a system. Okay, to give a signal to the system. And then this one also, if it's more than, less than 60 kg, less than 60 kg is considered thin, then it will give a signal to the system, okay? So then system need, this system need to decide whether to open the door and or not open the door. And uh, what, 
what is inside this design here okay usually is diode or transistor okay everything's in okay, again something inside so this thing inside here that make the judgment and decision is called the logic gate the logic gate okay so there's a logic gate here to make the same judgment and decisions making by the security but this time it's not done by the human it's not done by the human but it's done by an electronic design okay uh, this electronic design is the diode and transistor inside here again okay? resistor transistor and diode here okay and it will make a decision whether to open the door or not so that is logic gate in SBM you don't need to know how this is designed okay you don't need to know how to design whether we, we use a transistor here we use a diode here okay some book do show you the the, the design of the gate eh? okay but you actually you don't need to know okay uh, you don't need to know how it designed what you need to know uh, what you need to know is first the name the name of the gate and uh, the symbol of the gate and the boolean expressions of the gate and the truth tables of the gate that's what you need to know okay okay how is design is not important eh? so logic gate is a device circuit it's a circuit device okay that used to in computers and other electronic device okay it's used in computers or many many other digital device okay and uh, it use it for what okay it's used it to make uh judgment and decisions eh? judgments and decisions 